Howdy, howdy, folks. It's Diecast Buffet here again. It's time for another Wave 9 review. This will actually be the last one I will be reviewing of Wave 9. So, without further ado, it is... Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And yes, I did hit the top of my desk. So this car, um, is one I've, one is, one of them I actually really wanted for a really long time. I, I remember seeing this car first, um, on a promotional, um, it was a juice box, believe it or not. They had these, uh, big boxes of, um, the drink on here. It's little, uh, little hugs. I, I remember seeing them around the stores and, uh, in the stores and like they had these big boxes and they had like you know like a checker flag pattern and had Ricky Stanhouse Jr.'s car on it and well apparently you can get like some I don't know like cheap cardboard car out of the box or something I don't know anyway they did a promotional event with Little Hug and uh Ricky Stanhouse Jr. and I seen the car on I was like man that's a really good looking paint scheme and I don't remember exactly when he ran this paint scheme but I wanted it and I was honestly considering it, um, considering ordering it online, and then I seen that, hey, they actually have this in Wave 9. And somehow, someway, we ended up with this beautiful die cast. And if you thought Kyle Busch had um, all the colors in the rainbow, um, uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is going to have um, a little bit of a say in that. This car is absolutely a, a very unique paint scheme. It almost looks... If you made the car white and you made this green, this thing would look like a Christmas tree. It's all the colors on it, and it looks super good. Uh, this is, again, Wave 9. It'd be the last one we will be reviewing. And I think this one is just... It's a really cool-looking paint scheme, you know? It's a, it's a Ricky Stenhouse Jr. car. So you're getting a, a driver that's not necessarily popular, popular, but not necessarily underfunded. It's just one of those average drivers, and I just personally love collecting those. So, got another Ricky Stenhouse Jr. car for 2018, wherever it is right there. Super cool car. We do get a magnet with it. Let's get this uh, number 17. Little hug. Ford Fusion out of the package. Alright, so here is... The car, the number 17, Ricky Stanhouse Jr. And this car, let me tell you, it is it's one that is very, very unique. It's very unique. In the video, the yellow does look a little bit different, but it, it's actually more or less kind of like a um I don't know what you would call a caution yellow. It's not like a day glow yellow like it looks like in the video. I don't know if I might be able to turn my camera at all to kind of compensate for that. But Nonetheless, this car just, it looks really good. The purple and the yellow to start it all off. Very, very nice color combination. But then you add in um, some green, some red, and some blue, and it just it complements. Because the sponsor, they sell these little, you know, juice drinks and stuff. So to have a bunch of different colors on the car represents the brand identity very well. And it's kind of hard to do that with a die cast, much less a paint scheme, to be able to make it look good. And I think they actually accomplished that, you know. It's a very uh, colorful die cast and very colorful race car. But it looks really good, I think. This is this is one that I, I personally like. I think it's kind of a sleeper paint scheme, you know. not No one's really uh, been talking or chattering about this. And I think it's actually a pretty good paint scheme. Now, um... See if there are any quality issues that I can notice on this. As you know, Lino loves to hide them. Um, this right here on the back, I don't know what's going on here. The sponsor is placed, I think, right on there, but it just looks weird. With the uh, the back end of the car being three dimensional, it just it looks it looks kind of goofy there. Um, let's keep looking around the car and see if we see anything. Let's see this. 17 again I don't even know what happened here okay so look at the number on this side this is the 17 on this side and look at on this side <laughs> again I don't know I really don't get it like how can they make these mistakes how so this the number 17 is that size and you go on this side and it's that size how does, okay, it's one thing to have a decal smudge, but how in the world is the number smaller on one side than the other? 
And of course, this is the one side that's actually showing in the package. Is the sponsor the same size? I can't really tell because it's kind of um, swapped. But just, just, just wow. Just wow. That is just stupid. How they, they did that. So this, like, I just, I just don't understand. Like, I had to chase the other card. And the number, instead of it being like this, it was lowered all the way down here. Well, in this case, it's actually raised up in, in smaller in scale. I, I really don't understand uh, Lionel's quality. Um, <sighs> of course, when you have a mass assembly line and you have all these moving pieces and different people doing different things, you're going to get a few defects. But you got to, I think it is Lionel's job to ensure the quality for the consumers and to allow mistakes like this when people are using good hard earned money to buy these things that that should never happen i can't tell you how many winter circles cars or old action cars for lionel bought action that i've seen that did not have a defect at all i have seen so many uh winter circle and action cars just never had a defect never and lionel's Let's be honest, short tenure so far with NASCAR diecast, and they have made so many gains in their you know quality, but this should never happen. If I hear this, these decals should never have this um, rate of defects. Like it's one thing to have you know maybe a chip or something on the car, but an actual decal when they actually have to place the decal over the car. It, it just, it bugs me how they allow this stuff to get through inspection. You know, it just, it really bugs me. They're supposed to pull items sometimes from the assembly line to check them for quality. To make sure that, hey, we're consistently making quality die casts. And, and I will admit, sometimes they made some really good ones. I mean, if you look at the, um... The days when they made the Gen 6 cars that had three different types of molds. That some cars would look like this which was considered like the best standard then you would see some with balloon tires that look super fake a Hot Wheels car look more realistic than it it was just really annoying how they did that and over time they phased out that and they started focusing more and more on uh, quality but it's just I really hope they can eventually iron this stuff out because this is it, it, it should never happen it really shouldn't because you're making this much money off diecast people are paying huge money for these things i mean could you imagine you ordered a 124 scale diecast you paid 60 dollars for it you pre-ordered all the bells and whistles you know and you look at one side of the car and it looks good you look on the other side of the car and the number is completely jacked up it's just it, it should never happen with these diecasts granted this one costs 90% less than a 124 but you get what I'm trying to say is that when you order a product you expect quality when you expect quality you expect results that are consistent you know you can buy one of these cars and you can see a really good piece and no you know no dings no defects or nothing but you can buy another one and see an entirely different um, <laughs> different look in terms of quality so I like the car a lot. I think the colors on it look really good. Again, the yellow, the purple looks really nice. The red, green, and blue. It's a lot of different colors, but they did it in a way that really doesn't um, make the car look goofy. I think it, it, it's it's a very good looking car. I like how they did a lot of the uh, splash effects. I think that adds extra detail. I mean, look at that. That's See, that's another thing. Is that That's really good detail for a car the size of a Hot Wheels car. I mean, to see water and stuff on the bottles that that's really good that is really good graphics work you know i i appreciate quality or these die casts and sometimes they do bring quality it's just sometimes they don't and you know that's part of it it's unfortunate but you know you do have that so this die cast is absolutely so there's sometimes you do see quality but absolutely this car is it's a really neat looking car, you know? It's nothing too flashy. It's a little bit unique, a little bit different in its own its own way. But I am glad to have it, even though it does have this minor defect here. 
I still like this car a lot and it's one that I was planning on getting possibly in the gold series but to get it in the normal uh, NASCAR Authentics, Authentics line I'm super happy about it hey though if you like the video please leave a like below if you want to see more content from diecast buffet please subscribe we're a small but growing youtube channel we need all the subscribers we can get we post a lot of cool stuff like views customs let's plays and even vlogs so please subscribe to diecast buffet if you want to see more content please follow me on instagram at diecast buffet we post a lot of stuff behind the scenes such as uh updates on our customs and updates on stuff that's coming to the youtube channel plus just you know cool nascar stuff such as like photos of race cars and all kinds of stuff like that so if you want to see more content please follow me on instagram at diecast buffet anyway though thank you so much for watching hope you have a great one from diecast buffet signing off